Because it's widget that the wooden wings are in this case. Then also, I The Netherlands. Made it to Amsterdam, guys, and we will see you at the air. B&B. The air quality is so good here. I have never seen such a thing. But you can get a burger in these little containers. Wow. Look at that. He just puts the burger in there. Wow. The Amsterdam darling. We are in the Amsterdam. I just want to put her bags down, y'all. Okay. Wow, guys. Look at the canal. Period. Our Airbnb is right next to the Hash, Marijuana, and Hemp Gallery. Comes in the clutch, baby. Baby, baby, baby. All right, let's see what this Airbnb giving. Mark, uh, I'm a rope. Come inside. Okay. We live in a four-story building in New York City, so... Oh! <laughs> We're used to stairs. Not stairs like this, though. This is much steeper. <laughs> So just to give you a quick tour, we came up from here <laughs> and this is our little sink area and here is the kitchen area. It's so small, so tiny. This is the bathroom. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little nook, a little window there. And then this is where we'll be sleeping, a little storage area, towels and stuff. And it feels like we're on a boat. Kinda just said that it does feel like we're on a boat. And then he said we can smoke in here, which is amazing. I think I'm about to take a shower. Yeah. Yeah, I need to clean. And then he actually didn't tell us we can go up here or not, but I'm assuming. Yeah, we probably we don't, but this is another area we can sleep, I guess. In case Connor pisses me off, you can sleep up here. <laughs> And yeah, this is really cute. It does what it's supposed to do. I'm using this body wash called CN. I only have zero minutes left for this recording, but I think that this looks so like straight to the point and I look forward to using this, let you guys know how it is after. And then for my hair, I'm gonna use this shampoo. Cause my hair is so dirty right now. It's supposed to strength and give value. That's it. So this is my first Amsterdam look and it's all second hand which I love that for me. Um, this shirt I got at the little market in London and the lady they thrift these tees and then her and her mom they designed them which I think is so freaking sick. Um, and then I'm just wearing this black satin skirt again and I should be wearing sandals but I'm going to be wearing my tractor boots because I don't have a fresh pedicure here and I that's one thing I'm self-conscious about and I'm not self-conscious about a lot of things but when my nails and toes aren't done like I'm just like uh, uh. but yeah we're about to go to the barbershop actually I'm about to get me a haircut and then we're gonna go get food and drinks and yeah see you guys 
for that little mess there. Oh, let me get some lip gloss. I feel like I'm going this whole trip without moisturizing my lips. Anyway, I said all of y'all. Oh God, in my underwear. Jesus. That's not where they go. <laughs> huh? That's my backpack. It's all right. Yeah, I said all of that y'all and I'm still about to put on these little McQueen sandals. I feel like you can't really see my feet, you know, like they just like in the wind. And plus, like, me and Connor both agree that these shoes go better without it. So, I'm going to do this instead. But, I am going to put some moisturizer on. What I'm using. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys see my New Orleans vlog, but I got this stuff by this lady at the stand, Coco. And this butter is so freaking good. I love this butter. This is the, the lavender one. And then she has like an orange zest. Both are like really natural smelling. How far is the barbershop? Um, three minutes. Good. And shaves. So we actually have to go to another barbershop because that one was full, but it's the same exact barbershop, just slightly down the road. Hello. So this is my haircut, guys. D cut my hair. This is his Instagram. Him and his wife own a healing center here in Amsterdam. They want to, I think. Or they say no, 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 no. they do. They yeah. do, they do. And anyway, he was such a cool guy. I'm just so happy that he was the one who touched my head because you know you gotta be aware of those types of energies. And anyway, he cut my hair, so this is what it looks like. And now we're off to get something to eat. I really want a big juicy burger, so that's what we're kinda looking for. Um, yeah. Ooh, that looks so good. Sir, do you think we can close that? Thank you so much. Ooh. I like the name of this store. It's just called Size. So I guess you go in there and be like, Size? What sizes do you have? <laughs> I am freezing right now, baby. We are off to the Airbnb so I can get a little sweater or a jacket or something. Because I'm freezing. And I need to take these little sandals off, baby. It's like, it's giving 50 degrees, New York style. Yeah, what's the largest in London? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the car. It was horrible. It was so crowded. People didn't understand that this was awesome. Should I open it? Love that. Period. We are not trying to overwork ourselves. We'll get to you when we get to you. Good morning guys we are off our second day in Amsterdam 
and we're gonna go get some food because I'm starving. So we're gonna go to brunch first, and then y'all already know what's gonna come after that. After food comes a good old thrifting. So I cannot wait to see what Amsterdam is giving as far as their second hand market. Um, last night we had went to this little weed shop because you know weed is legal here called the Bulldog and it was a vibe um, but I'm starting to see it's not helping my cough <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to be smoking I feel like this is God literally being like sis we told you to put that goddamn smoker down now no vaping no smoking marijuana so I think it's about time I cut cut it cut it cut it anything that smokes because um, y'all can even hear it in my voice like it smell it sound deep but um, yeah, with that being said, I was coughing a little bit last night, but I do feel like my cough is getting better, which is why I've been like smoking again, but no, I'm gonna quit it because coughing in sad places is not cute. But anyway, this is what my view is looking like today. Cute, cute, cute. We're right along the canal. And, or canal, sorry. But yeah, I think Amsterdam is so cute, so quiet. Um, clean. The food is all right. We had like a burger yesterday. It was decent, and um, yeah, we're gonna go get brunch. So I'll let you know how that is. So this is what I'm wearing today, guys. Sunglasses from New Orleans. My little undercover jacket because the weather here is kind of cool. Like it's not as warm as it was in London. So yeah, the jacket has been required. And then underneath I have my little cardigan off for another layer and then underneath the cardigan I have on this um, Robert Cavalli t-shirt that I got thrifting in London um, I like the little animal print that it gives I'm wearing a belt for like the first time ever in my life I feel like since I was a kid but that won't be shown because I feel like it's too much with the look Balenciaga jeans and then my Rick Owen boots I'm doing some walking Marshall bag. And these are the tones I'm giving, like, you know, cool tones. I wanted to mix in some brown, some earthies. Um, I'm wearing a print because I feel like Amsterdam is a place where you wear a print. And uh, we're going to get coffee here. This is Mood Bazaar. No, that's an old name. It's called Coffee Company. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get coffee. have the milk here so you kind of can add it yourself if you like I love that concept because I only like a splash so for people that are you know it's very specific like me this is perfect sorry that you guys are so close but I just had an epiphany I believe people that live here unlike other countries maybe especially hate tourists I mean, if you think about it, you know, this is a biking town. You want to bike everywhere. People that come to the country don't really understand the biking rules. Just like I was just saying, I don't mind if that person almost like ran me over with their bike, literally. Because like I was in the middle of the street. I act like I'm like, oh, like if, I'm acting like it's a fucking standoff. And they're like, oh, he's going to go around me. He's like, no, B, I'm not going around you. Move. So I had to move. But, um,. Yeah, it makes sense. And then Connor was telling me that this lady ran her bike into somebody's suitcase, like on purpose. Now that's a little petty, but even still I get it. Because it's just like, you want to just get up and enjoy your little town, your little small little bike town. And you can't do that because people in the way. Like. Wooden you bike. see a wooden bike at? And somebody actually rides this. It's all linked up. An actual bike. Bikes. That's what you need. You 
you got musicians, you got school students, you got grandparents. Everybody's a biker. I just, I've never seen it before. It's amazing. Yeah. Like, I just love it. It's like serious. People are serious about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get this girl on. that works there and she was telling me that it's run by all women in the store it's all women that work there and also in their like corporate offices it's all women I was like that is so amazing and she was just so sweet and um, they carry so many different brands they ship worldwide and yeah I'm probably gonna go back there I've seen a couple pieces but you know how it is when you're traveling you kind of want to see what else you see before you, you know you pull the chair but I am thinking about that like Nike hoodie I thought that was a boy and also that weight of Nike, that weight of cotton I've been looking for at the thrift store, but I have yet to find. Anyway, Maha. I've been wanting a pair of blue glasses forever. Not this pair though, it's too big for my face. Let's see what they look like. How does it look? It's good, hello. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Good. Let me see. Pretty good? No. So nice. But um, they were online. You found them online for 30% off. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this also on sale. Okay. It's 50% off. <laughs> and these are the sunglasses if you want to try them. Yeah, I do want to try them. Yeah. This is 50 and that's 34. Oh, I feel like I'm not, I wish they were black. These do fit my face very well, though. Are these on sale too, miss? No, they're carryover, so they always stay in price. These are sick. They're super cool on you. Oh, they like giving like a old lady vibe, but like yeah. modern. <laughs> this cotton is so beautiful. It reminds me of like Rick Owens. Wow. I've never heard of this brand. It's a Japanese? Aurelie. Oh no, The sunglasses are 240. Thank 240. you. And oh. This is so beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. Do you know Orly from before? No, I never heard of Orly. I feel like a Peaky Blinder. I was gonna say, you look like a mobster. <laughs> it's kind of sick though, no? Yeah, I guess so. When would you wear that? Where? When and where? What occasions? Any occasion? Literally any occasion. Feel like. Alright. Oh, back to work. Uh, the shirt's the last one. Oh, the jacket's really nice. It's just sick. I really like the silhouette of it. It's really wide at the bottom. Yeah. Sorry. I've never heard of this brand. YMC. And I think these are such a vibe on me. Yeah. And I can wear like long johns exactly. underneath. And I asked him what happened and he said you know? it just came apart. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Lilac. Yeah. Lilac. Like, this is even a look 
<laughs> yeah, boot your Margiela tabbies. The green. The green. Oh, obsessed with this yeah. shirt. Oh my god. This. Yeah. Oh wow. I need this in every color. Real part. <laughs> This is a small, this is a small, do you feel like small or extra small? I like the small on you. The extra small. But I'm thinking like the extra small is just going to be tired. Yeah, which I don't think you need, honestly. I think this is enough, right? Yeah, it's enough. Now I feel like I need to try it out. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. I feel like I'm going to have to get this in there. Get the small then. I like the way the small kind of blouses. That one does it too. I can't tell the difference, but it's slightly tighter too. Okay. Yeah, but well, you're only gonna get fatter, so. Do the five piece set in the soju bomb. Like the first one, I went to Bob. So I read like five or six slides. Oh, and then this is all the soju. I might, I might try a couple soju shots. <laughs> I didn't know there's a way to do it. I didn't either. Oh. Can you put your foot a little bit to the side? Get the table. And then do what? Nothing. Oh, really? Apparently. Go for it, babe. <laughs> Yeah? Oh! I think mine's stuck because it's got the mayo sauce on the end. So it's, it's like glue, okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. There you go. And uh, you have to drink it at once, by the way. Okay, we can do that. You gotta drink it at once? At once, yes. Like a straw. Like a straw. Oh! Yeah. Look, look, look. look. Like a yeah. <laughs> oh, like a yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. Alright, yeah. go, babe. Chug it. Huh? Chug. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. When they say spicy, spicy. So we've come across this market here. And it looks quite nice. And I love the people in Amsterdam. Oh my gosh, they are so kind. So cool. So smiley. Get you some polos. Mm. Oh, is it? Right here? Oh, kilo store. This is interesting. Seems like more like a legit. Or like that or one thing for certain, no matter where you go in the country, you have the same smell of gold clothes. These are nice. How cute is that little girl? That's a stack. That's not a I know, but if I had a kid, oh my god. You couldn't tell her anything. We are taking a stop at this little bar here. I don't know what it's called. But 
I like Amsterdam so much, guys. Like, I can see myself staying in Amsterdam for freaking sure. People are so nice. I love the culture. My martini. This is a porn star martini. That's what they call it. I don't know what the little spoon is for. Let's see. Mmm. It's my first time trying meatballs in Amsterdam. Zero minutes on this, but... Nice, nice, nice. They are everything to me. I just like how they coordinated with their sage. And I feel like people really mind their business here. That's what I really like too. Um, they mind their business enough. Like London, I feel like everybody's like, oh. Oh, oh, she's filming. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, what is she doing? Amsterdam, they're like, oh, she's filming, but that's none of my business, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I love that jacket, that pleat detail with these pants. It's just beautiful. On our way to the Van Gogh Museum. And this is what it looks like leading up. Where is it, babe? Oh, I see it, the Van Gogh. Van Gogh, that's where we're headed. Connor is so eager to get there. We run out a little bit late. And without any problems at all, we get into the museum. And this one. Oh, we gotta get there. We gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. That's what I'm saying. We don't have to hurry. We can just take our time. You know, revolutionaries take their time. <gasps> Asada Shakur. This is something I would do. Like, I love myself enough to paint myself. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> oh my god, too much. Too many soju shots for me, guys. Huh? I am exhausted at this Van Gogh Museum. I, yeah, I need to go take a nap. Nap time. But if it doesn't feel natural, you shouldn't do it. Amsterdam croquettes. What do you think? I like it. Even if it leaves nowhere, oh, would it be a way? Come on, venga, venga. back at our little pizza place guys. I never put this on my pizza but I put it on there in Amsterdam because why not. This is supposed to be New York style pizza. Is it New York style pizza? No! But it's food at 2 a.m. We are getting ready to leave Amsterdam guys off to Paris and I'm wearing this little shirt and I put it on bro and I've never seen a shirt that rips so quickly, but I feel like it can't go with the overall vibe of the shirt, so <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, we're just getting ready. I'm just folding up my stuff. Broccoli. 
on the train. And it's probably because the bleaching was too intense, it damaged the fabric. Ah, uh, I didn't even think about that. Because it's only um, doing that where it's bleached. If you notice, all the holes are right there where it's bleached, not in the green. Uh, maybe. No, I'm totally correct about that. Yeah, because you work with fabrics, Connor. <sighs> You're a fabrics guy. We all know that about you. Wow. 48 hours down in Amsterdam. It has been amazing, my time here, our time here. Um, we met Mew last night, our new Amsterdam friend. She showed us to her favorite karaoke bar. And we sung the night away there. It was such a good time. And... Now we just packed up all of our stuff, as you guys just saw. And I'm feeling a little queasy. I don't know what it is. I think I just need to eat. Yep. But I'm like, hold on, let me sit down. You know how you get a little lightheaded and your stomach feel like you feel a bleh. So I'm like, hungry. let me sit down. Anyways, our train for Paris leaves at 1.13. One and it's like 11.30 right now. So... Yeah, we have some time to spare a little bit. The train's really close to us. This Airbnb was really nice, too. Um, so, yeah, we were just saying how this trip has just been so seamless for us. I'm so appreciative of that. And, um, yeah. I feel like Amsterdam is a place where two days is enough. You know, like, I couldn't see us spending, like, a week here. Definitely not. But, um, yeah, I really like Amsterdam. And I feel like it's a place I would consider staying. You know, just not um, in the red district, of course, because it's just like busy every day and people every day all around. But Mew, she like lived a little further out. Like she had to take a train to her house. I'm like, dang, OK. So, yeah, love it. But I am really looking forward to Paris. I know everyone keeps telling us like, oh, yeah, Paris is like so different from here and da 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 da. So I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be speaking French. I speak no French, so that should be interesting for sure. Ooh. 